Welcome to another episode of Sunscreen Saturday. Today I'm looking at Neogen. This is Day Light Protection SPF 50 plus plus plus. And this is what the bottle looks like. So here's the story. I'm going to put this on. Well, first I'm going to take this thingy off and tell you a little bit what I know about this. Well, my backstory, really. I bought this about I think two years ago and I got it at Sephora and it was a little heavy for my taste but I bought it around the holiday sale and for the cooler weather I thought it was perfectly fine and I wore it almost every single day. I thought you know I kind of like this maybe I should get it again even though we were coming into the warmer months but I couldn't find it at Sephora anymore. It was the dreaded out of stock. And oftentimes when something's out of stock at Sephora, it means it's on the way out. So I looked on Yes Style and I couldn't find it. I looked at other retailers and I couldn't find it. And finally, I found it again. So I thought I would give it another try and see if I still like it and what my thoughts are on it. Let's fill up the hand. Because it's a little thicker, I am going to do two applications. So you can see it's fairly creamy. It's not moving too much. And this is kind of a blend. So there is zinc and titanium, as well as Tinosaur S. And that is the next generation sunscreens, one of the next generation sunscreens. But there's also octanoxate, and there's something I've never heard of before called um, amyloxate, A-M-I-L oxate, which is interesting. Let's do another. You can see it goes on white, but it doesn't take long for that whiteness to fade, and this will be my second, and this will be a quarter teaspoon. If you're new here, a quarter teaspoon is what you need for your face and your neck to actually get the SPF sun protection that is listed on the box. So, you know, sometimes I see people saying, oh, and a little goes a long way, you don't need much. It's like, well, it may go a long way, but if you want to get that sunscreen protection and you're putting on, you know, a teeny little bit like here, you're not getting the sunscreen protection you think you are. I'm going to put a little under my eyes. The last time, last week, I think it was, I put some sunscreen on my lids and my eyes. And naturally, it just, as I started to sweat, and it wasn't even a super hot day, but eventually it just migrated into my eyes and I had to actually wash my face because I couldn't rub it out and start all over again. It was great fun. The excess I like to put on my hands. And you can see this whiteness has pretty much faded. I hope you can see that. I'm looking on my monitor here and it doesn't look like it's faded. Um, I wonder if I should change my setting. Nah, we'll leave it as it is. So let me just take a look here and see what's going on. A little accumulation around the nose, no big deal. And also always, you know, clean out your eyebrows. But it lays down nice and most areas it's not white. Around the eyebrows it is. Around that one eyebrow. Around here there's a little bit of lightness, but I think give this 10 minutes to sink in and we're going to be fine. And let me tell you about some of the other ingredients in here. For skin identicals and also hydration is glycerin and sodium hyaluronate. Then I have, I'm going to put together the categories of soothing and antioxidants and hydrating. So beta-glucan, um, achillo, I can't pronounce that. It, like, I don't know if it's achilla or achia, if you don't pronounce the H. Um, raspberry and blueberry fruit extracts and tocopherol. So these are all nice ingredients, a little antioxidants, a little hydration, a little vitamin E. I'm pretty sure tocopherol is vitamin E. And um, very nice ingredients. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't feel drying and I do feel that it is starting to dry on my skin. So I'm just going to give this a couple of more minutes to dry and then we'll go in with the foundation. So I'll tell you what it says in the box because it's funny. This is a Korean product by the way. 
and the font this is so small I have to use this I'm really sorry um, a lightweight fluid like sunscreen fluid to me means it runs <laughs> it's this is cream right am I crazy no I mean I could be crazy but I'm not crazy about that offers major protection with broad spectrum SPF PA++++. It delivers light but nourishing hydration from rose. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't see rose in there. Raspberry extract. So dry skin types can put an extra boost of hydration. Can get an extra boost of hydration. Quick absorbing formula leaves no white cast or greasy feeling. I would say the only thing that is wrong here is it's not fluid, it's creamy, but it doesn't leave any color and it does absorb pretty quickly. And it does have a bit of a scent to it that I don't remember, but I don't think it's rose. That's interesting. It doesn't feel greasy. My skin doesn't feel greasy, but it feels greasy to the touch, if that makes sense. So my skin doesn't feel uncomfortable. Let's go ahead and put on some Reboot, which I kind of wanted to... Let's mix the Reboot with something, you guys. I know I usually don't do this, but I haven't been wearing my favorite sunscreens in a while, and I have wanted to try this uh, Chanel Beige in here. This could be a mistake, because they're both a little too dark for me. Yeah, this was probably not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I think, you know, we're getting to that point where any color I had from the warmer months is fading and I can start lightening up my foundations, like this one. I wrote down below what my foundations are and I gave two colors for this one because one of them works really well when I'm fair and one of them works well when I'm not fair. Okay, that's how easy it is. There's no swirling or whirling or, you know, things not blending in. So easy. So there is a lot of shine to the face, which you know, that's what happens. My sunscreens tend to have a shine to them, and I certainly don't mind it, but it works well. It plays well with others, and I didn't find it to be terribly uncomfortable. So this might be another good idea for a bit of a hybrid. When you're getting a little bit of zinc, a little bit of titanium, a little bit of the next generation, and a little bit of the older sun filters, and it's hydrating, it doesn't dry your skin out. And if it does, you guys, because I haven't put this on in a couple of years, look down below and I will leave a note of how this makes me feel throughout the day. But for now, I'm just going to say it works well with others and I really like it. And I was able to find it and I will put the link below where I found it for you. And that's it. That is Neogen Day Protection SPF 50 plus plus plus. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until you meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.